What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to focus on green screen and how to delete a green screen. Now let's get started. Now if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So I have two scenarios in the timeline. One's a very easy one and one's a little more detailed and complex. So I'm going to show you how to do both. Um, one thing I want to say is whenever you're working with green screens, do your best to make it as clean and bright and solid green as possible. If things are really dark and the lighting's poor, it's, it's hard to work with. And you might sacrifice some of the image and the subject to try to make that work. So do yourself a favor and light it the best you can from the get-go. It's gonna save you headaches down the road. Now the very first one that's easy is just this little TikTok banner with a motion. I'll play it from the beginning. That's it. So ideally we wanna just remove all this green screen behind it and then apply it over an image. So first things first, let's head over to the project panel and right here you'll see the uh, little different tabs up here. Look for the effects tab, which mine is right here. I'm gonna click on it. Let's head down to video effects. And halfway down you're gonna see a folder that says Keen. Click on that. And at the very bottom of that, you're gonna see Ultra Key. This is what I use for all my green screen. And you can grab it literally and just drag over to whichever clip you wanna apply it to and apply it. Now, if we head up to the source panel, you go up here, you'll notice underneath all the typical motion, opacity, timer mapping that's on every single clip. Now you'll notice there's a new one here. This is Ultra Keys. It's all the different settings and options for that feature. So this is gonna be the most simplistic way to do it for something that's super easy. So the reason why this is super easy is the lines are incredibly clear, the green screen is super bright, and there's no green inside the image to mess with. Once we delete this green, it's gonna be clean as clean. And we're gonna do the simplest way. So head over here to the Ultra Key settings, and you notice if you go down below Output and Settings, you're gonna see Key Color, you're gonna see a color black, and you're gonna see a little eyedropper. So you can click on this, and you can kind of guess where it is, but that's not the best way to do it. Cancel that out. Grab this eyedropper, and you're gonna come over here, just any part of this green section, just click on it, and it immediately takes it away and turns it black. And you might think, oh, I don't want it to be black, but it's not black, it's actually transparent. So now we have this, you can tell, lines as clean as can be. So let me back up and show you. Simple enough. So now I wanna put an image behind this. So I want this TikTok, I wanna put this item on top of the image. So first things first, we're gonna have, have to stack a couple items here in the timeline. So right now these both clips are on video one, right? But we wanna raise them up one level to video two because we want to put the other video underneath it. The way the timeline reads it is the play it kind of shoots down from here and reads through them this way. So whatever's here up on top is what's going to be seen on top. So let's head over here to the project tutorials and actually want to put this guy dancing underneath it. So I'm gonna put that on video one. So now the TikTok thing is above it on video two. But right now I want to keep it just this way. So now watch. As I play it, we've deleted the green screen, and now we're showing the image underneath. Now the next one's gonna be a little more complex. You can see slide over here, and you see you have moving hair. So all these different things are, it's not an easy hard line. It's not like the, the TikTok logo. There's lots of little light and dark and medium colors in here. Okay, so now we have this image of this woman kind of moving her hair around slow motion. And you see down here at the end, she flips it. So these are all obviously little sections we need to worry about. Luckily, this is a very well lit image. So we're gonna go through the same thing. We're gonna go back to effects, grab that ultra key and drop it in. And we'll head back over here to the source panel, highlight the ultra key and do the exact same thing we did before. Come down to the eyedropper under the key color cause that's the color we wanna remove. Now remember, if you're working with the blue screen, you can do the exact same thing. Grab the key dropper and grab the blue and it's gonna eliminate the blue. So let's head over here. We're gonna click on the green like we did before and you'll notice that it did a pretty good job, but you also notice there's a little bit of green here. There's a little bit of green shadow on her arm. Once the setting is set with something like this, if you set to aggressive and it's a well-lit shot and it's done well from the beginning, it'll do a really good job. So like I said, you'll see most of the hair is nice and clean. There's a tiny bit on the arm, but once you put a background on, that's gonna hide a lot of it. And we want something underneath this. We gotta move this up to a higher track. Let's come over here. 
we'll grab this little image of these lovely bubbles, put it right underneath. Right here, you'll see the hair is nice and clear. You don't even notice that line you saw before, it's hidden pretty well. Now, when you're working with more advanced settings and you have something that's maybe not as well lit or more complex with different shades and tones, head up here to the this little output that says composite. If you click down on alpha channel, it's gonna switch it just to straight black and white. So remember, black hides and makes things transparent and the white reveals the image. So the green screen back here is somewhat black, you'll see, because that's what we're trying to hide, and the image of her is left white because we're keeping that opaque. So let's head back here to the setting. I'm gonna show you the example. So if we go to aggressive, you're gonna see the lines get much crisper and the blacks get much darker. So we did that. That's why when he did the aggressive, it looked that much cleaner. So this is pretty tight, but let's just say we wanna work with it a little bit more. I'm gonna put it back to the regular composite. Let's head down here. Now the first one is the matte generation. So we have the transparency tab and it adjusts the transparency of the image that you're trying to hide and keep opaque. So I said, if we move it up to 100 or closer this direction to 100, you'll notice even she starts to become see-through. And if you get lower, even the dark that was the black is gonna start washing away, you'll see that. So you wanna kind of find that medium. Right now it's set at 45 if you reset it to the default. Now if you come back up here and leave the alpha channel on, and the highlight will adjust the opacity of the light areas. So you'll notice a little bit of detail here but it's just on the highlights. We'll go down to shadows, and it's the same thing. It adjusts the opacity of the dark areas. So you can see here, and you go a little too far, it's gonna make some of the hair disappear. So you see here where the dark areas are here? That means when you play it, we'll go back to the regular composite, you'll see all the holes there. So the shadows, you don't wanna mess with either too much. So be very subtle with it. And then the tolerance adjusts the range of the colors. So if you have multi-colors or different shades, That'll be something you play with, but I don't really mess with that too much. And the pedestal will work with the noise, especially on like a low lit shot. If you didn't do a very good job of lighting it, this will kind of play with the darker areas. You can see there in the edges of her hair, it'll give a little bit more there. So we're gonna close that down. Let's head down to the matte cleanup. And I'm gonna move back to the, uh, the alpha channel to make this more evident. The choke shrinks the size of the alpha channel. So for example, if I raise it up, you'll see here on the line, if it's a little fuzzy, remember that green line that was on her skin? If you be more aggressive with this, that'll take that away, but it also, you can see it shrinks the arms. So you gotta be careful not to overdo it. Or if you overdo it in here, the hair will seem chunky and squarish. So everything here is subtlety. The softness underneath that, the same line that chokes back here, it's kind of like a blur effect. You see how it's a little more softer and a little more blurry? The edge is not as crisp anymore. Now the contrast, the same thing as in photos. It just darkens the dark and brightens the, the light. And the midpoint kind of works with the middle colors. And the others here, I don't mess with too much. Like I said, I really try to light my stuff well, so I don't have to deal with them. Uh, but you can tinker around with all the different settings and just kind of tweak them left and right and see what works. Every image is different. It depends on how it's lit and the type of wardrobe they have and if the color, the green is spilling over. So you can tweak some of these settings very subtly and see if it helps, but for the most part, the ones I've showed you are the key ones that will make the difference. But I'm gonna set this back to aggressive. And I'm gonna set this back to the composite. And like I said, just that by itself, the default setting there, just make it a little more aggressive so it gets in line. It looks nice and clean. And that'll work for most shots. Anyway, I hope this helped. If you learned anything, please hit the thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel because I'm always creating new content. That being said, have a great day and we'll catch you next time. Later. Mm -hmm.